ಪೂರಣಮಿದ್ಯತಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷ್ಯ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರು ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ್ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವರ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ನೈನ್ ಯ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ಮಾತ್ರೇಣ ದೇಹ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಧಿಯ ವಿಷಯು ಸುಖೀಯು ವರ್ತಂತೆ ಪ್ರೇರಿತ ಇವ ಐ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಯ ಸನ್ನಿಧಿ ಮಾತ್ರೇಣ ದೇಹ ಇಂದ್ರಿಯ ಮನೋಧಿಯ ವಿಷಯು ಸುಖೀಯು ವರ್ತಂತೆ ಪ್ರೇರಿತ ಇವ ಸಿ ದ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ that by whose very presence the body and the sense organs the mind and the intellect perform their respective function like a team of servants prompted by their master see one more time the translation by whose very presence the body the organs mind and intellect keep their respective activity are like a servant the topic is subject consciousness we are going to understand what consciousness is sankracharya's approach is very scientific he is not giving any definition which is prejudiced preconditions he is inviting you he is inviting you and you think what consists consciousness may be and very scientific approach he is not saying that the consciousness is the omni bear is not saying that consciousness is in the heaven in the vaikunt swarg it will not affect it will not work in our life we cannot understand so he giving very simple thought very simple way to understand and you think you take responsibility to understand he says yasya sannidhi matrena deha indriya manodhiya let us understand the verse omnipresence consciousness 
it calls to make consciousness so many levels. Without any act, consciousness, wherever we see, no see. Consciousness is everywhere. But we can't understand. We cannot realize that consciousness. It is very theoretical. We can say, other can listen, but it will not work. We can say so many times consciousness is everywhere. So many, so many present, omnipresent is so powerful. These definitions is beyond of your reach. So understand this way. He says, Like we have so many equipments, we have so many devices, and our devices, our equipments are inert. They will not work automatically. They need some operator. Suppose your chair start moving itself, you will become afraid. Think your door opens and close itself, you will be, become afraid. Your TV on and off itself, it is not possible. Something is wrong because we understand that the inert the object cannot work without any consciousness. They need support of consciousness. Like a chair, our body is also inert, very practical. Anyone can understand very easily. Our body is not sentient. It is inert. Same way, our sense organs, organ of actions, are also, also not sentient. They are also inert. And in deep down, our mind is also inert. Our intellect also equipment. They are, are, they are inert. They cannot work without any support of consciousness. We can see when a person dies, body is there. Organs are there, but they can't work. Why? Something which was giving power to them is not working now. So like our instrument, our work, devices work with some energy, some, they need some operator. Sankarachari says, our body is also like equipment. Our sense organs, organ of actions, mind, intellect, every part of the body needs support from some consciousness. So consciousness is giving power to work our body, they have our body, indriya, organs, mano, mind, and intellect. They work 
they can work only if it had the support from the consciousness. But here one thing is most important that the consciousness is not doing anything for them. Like sun shine in the sky. And because of sunlight, we need, we get vitamins in our body, some flowers blues because of sun, and so many activities are happening in the whole entire world. Sun does not know. Sun is not doing anything for the activity. He just presents. So our body work. So consciousness is not doing nothing but does everything without doing anything. Just presence. Presence required. Are it is present every time, everywhere. So, yes, Sannidhi Matrena, Dehe Indriya Manu Dhiya. Sankrachari says, you think what consciousness is. Consciousness is our body, our mind, our intellect, organs is working, are working. They are jad, they are inert, still they are working. So they get energy from from where? That is consciousness. Vishayesu sukhiyari sukhiyesu vartante preditayu. He gave an example like there are so many servants. A person has so many servants. A driver, a cook, a cleaner. And sometimes they become lazy. But when they feel, they recognize their, their master presence, the presence of the master make them active. So, same way, this is the honor. Soso karyesu pravartante, they all become active. They all become active for their respective activity. So who is the responsible for it? You find out, you search, you discover. It is your responsibility. Sankracha is not taking responsibility. It's giving to you challenge. You accept that. Who is, the, who is, is not giving any name, inequality, any form. He just put a point. Who is giving energy? That is the consciousness. Now, next one. Ahankara di dehanta visayasta sukhadaya vedyante ghatavadiyena nitya bodha sarupina. I repeat one more time. Ahankara di dehanta visayasa sukhadaya vidyante ghatavadiyena nitya bodha sarupina. So see the translation. By whom everything from egoism down to the body, sense objects and pleasure, etc., is known as palliably as a jar. For he is the essence of eternal knowledge. I repeat again, that because of which everything, the ego, the body, the sense objects, and their pleasure, etc., are known as clearly as jar, is of the nature of eternal knowledge. Now, another method. Same thing, just logic different. He gave an example. 
like object we are watching always objects objects may be gross or subtle the matter is understand paramatma there are two entities you can divide in two parts one is object another is subject we always think about object object we don't think any time about subject but subject is most important than object ghatavat like a pot like a chair like a table we see this is a table this the pot sankaracharya says it means you are different if you see this the chair it means you are not chair if you can realize that this is a room it means you are not room you are different from the room room is different you are the different if you see this the table it means you are not table table is different you are the different. same now in context this matter ahankara adi dehanta visayasya sukha daya now see sankracharya says without giving any name what consciousness is he says that just think about nuvar ahankara adi dehanta you see this is my body you have experience this is my body so you and your body there are two entity should be you are different your body is different because you are seeing you are watching this is my body my body is not working my body is tired my body is good getting old so this experience says that you are different your body is different then ahankara adi dehanta same if you go deeper then you can realize that my eye is not working properly my ears not working properly i cannot hear because my ears not working so it means you realize that you understand that you are different your ears are different you are dust you are dust seen and your ears your eyes are object seen there are two entities then much deeper my mind today my mind is not good i am not feeling good my mind is not con- in my control so it shows that you are different your mind is different and much deeper the next experience would be my intellect is not working my intellect left is perfect so this experience shows that you and your intellect are two entities don't make them combine so don't make identification keep them separate sankaracharya says ahankara adi dehanta 
and go ahead beyond intellect beyond intellect and you can experience that ayness ahankar ayness my i i i am so i am that i am this i i i so ayne ayness is the first thought in your intellect then other thought follow other thought will come later but first thought is i then i am young i am old i am man i am woman rich poor intellect whatever but first thought is i ness so i i ness is ahankara ahankara adi dehanta so starting from the ahankara and up to now gross body all are object you are watcher you are seer you are watching like a pot like a jar and vishayas cha sukha deya then your thought i am happy i am miserable so this thought this happiness is different from you listen carefully i am happy so this happiness is not consciousness this is different from you i am happy i am miserable i am angry so these are thoughts not real happiness so sankaracharya say ahankaraadi dehanta visayascha sukhadaya vedyante ghatavadayena nitya bodha sarupina because the consciousness is always full of knowledge constantly knowing everything because it is his nature like fire is always hot ice is always cold so same way your nature is nitya bodha sarupina in knows so now understand clearly difference life ghatbad you are different the pot is different same you are different body is different so sankaracharya says apply this method to understand the, the supreme reality and go this way now another verse I repeat and Esontaratma Purusha Purano Nirantara Khand Sukha Nubhuti Shadai Karupa Pratibodha Matro Ene Sitava Vasavas Charanti I repeat one more time Esontaratma Purusha Purano Nirantara Khand Sukha Nubhuti Shadai Karupa Pratibodha Matro एने शितावाग वसवत शरंति द ट्रांसलेशन इज दिस इज इनर मोस्ट सेल्फ द पेरिमेबल पुरुषा हुस इसेंस इज constant realization or infinite bliss which ever the same it reflecting through the different mental conditions modifications and commanded by whom the organs and pranas perform their functions one more translation and there way thus this great truth is the innermost self the ancient purusha whose essential nature is constant experience of infinite bliss which is ever the same it it constantly gets reflected through different mental modifications and commanded by it the sense organs and purush pranas 
perform their functions very important for a spiritual seeker what way is the best the question is we are spiritual seeker our search is towards spirit but how what the matter how to discover it how to discover this reality the question is very big so we try so many ways we go sacred places we do pilgrimages yes that's a good that's a good but sankracharya says you should start it from your body you are seeker so to start search this spirituality through his own body our mahatma said that your body is the temple what is in temple there is a god that is why we call temple we call sacred place because you can feel some vibrations of the god god is everywhere everywhere like this but we cannot realize we cannot feel we cannot understand his presence so in sacred places in temples sacred places we can feel some vibrations sankarachari says that's good but i will tell you you should start your searching your journey from your body through your body your body is not only your body everybody's body everybody's body is a temple because god is residing in gita the lord shri krishna said ishwara sarvabhutanam hridayase arjuna tishthati varjuna the god is residing hridayase in very essential part of the your body god is residing there and in this point be this so many times rishis were given instructions yogis call it hriday chakra and you meditate there you can feel sankracharya says eso antaratma purusha close your eyes and find yourself what is inside where is god in our body where is the consciousness where is consciousness in our body what is his center where is he residing so sankracharya says eso antaratma purushah the supreme consciousness is in your body and like when we go ahead we will read that a layer removing a layer annamaya pranamaya manomaya vigyanamaya anandamaya and finally the sadhak will reach the seeker will reach that point in our most eso antaratma so don't don't get confused don't make yourself so much afraid 
so much engaged. Just relax. Close your eyes. Find your own reality. You will find that he is residing in your body. Esho Antaratma. The word you use Purusha. Purusha means in Sanskrit, Pur means city. City, a town. Purusha means one who resides in the town. One who resides in the town. Resident of the town. Purusha. So this body is Pur, a city. Not only your body, human body. Everybody's body. Birds' body also body. There is also God residing. Words, animals, creatures, trees. Everybody's body, God is residing. Everywhere. Purusha. So that is why we call it Purusha. The another word is Purana. Purana means forever and fresh. The interesting thing is, he is very old. Patanjali wrote in his Yoga Sutra, Sa Purve Samapi Guru Kalena Anavacheda. The God is beyond time. Time has come after God. God created time. Time did not create the God. And like our body, in when we were in our childhood, every child looks beautiful. Every child. Slowly, slowly, gradually, uh, we get old and the beauty will be lost. When we become old person, no one wants to us. All beauty has gone. No child. Because the body in very beginning was beautiful. Now everything has gone. Nothing left. Slowly, slowly, you also start hating yourself, your body. Suppose someone lives 500 years. Body does not work. And finally, he will call God, Oh God, take me away from this body. I don't want to live in this body. So body before was fresh, not it. But in the city, which one is residing is ever fresh. The Purana means who one is always but fresh. Purana. Esho Antaratma Purusha Purana Nirantarakanda Rashanu Bhuti. Sankrachari says. And each change, change, changeless, always, nirantar, constantly happy experience. Because his nature is ananda. Shadai karupa. The consciousness is Sadai Karu. Always the same. Nothing is changed. Nothing changed. If somewhere it changed, take place, it means this is not consciousness. The Sutra, the principle, always remember that. If somewhere it change, take place, there is, it means this is not consciousness. Sadai Karupa. Always is the same. Pratibodha matro. The 
The word is very meaningful, very deep. What he is saying that? He is saying, Pratibodha Matro. Pratibodha means sans in Sanskrit, every thought, every concept, every knowledge is with consciousness. Every knowledge, you are aware, you are not aware. Your thought may be miserable, your thought may be angry, your thought may be greedy, it makes no difference. Every thought is because of consciousness. Pratibodha viditam matam in Upanishad, Rishi says, you very simple way. Everywhere, so many ways, so many methods, and you will reach the point. You see your thought. Your thought is based on consciousness. Without consciousness, no thought. Without consciousness, thought is not possible. Pratibodha, pratibodha matro, every thought, every knowledge, it originated from consciousness. And ene sitavag asavasyaranti. Another way you can think. Every, every organs, work. Not only you can think it universally like sun is shining in the sky. The day coming, night coming, the rain is raining. Everything happening all over the entire world. Who is the controller? Upanishad says, Yad bhaya ti vati vatoyam suryas trapati yad bhaya. Only who is the commander? Who is command? Commander is the God. There is no name God, just consciousness. So, now we can give a name to understand, to communicate. So, instructions are given by the God to Son, and Son is signing always. Moon, rain, everyone. And they are working constantly without any delay, without any vacation. They are working. And same in your body also. Your pranas are coming in going. Vaga asavascharantihi. Vaga means your sense organs. Your organ of actions. So they have got instructions from God. God controlling them. Your body system, breathing system, digestion power, everything is control of the God. Ene sitavaga the same question is asked in Kena Upanishad. There is a question, Kene Sita Preshitam Manaha, who is giving instructions to prana and mind, intellect for everyone? So this is the beginning of opening of the Kene Upanishad. And same thing is Sankaracharya said here. Ene Sita Vasavasaranti, by whose control the organs of action and sense organs and your prana vital energy are working. 
So you find out, it's up to you. You discover. Now next one. Atreva Swatma Satvatmani Dhiya Di Guhayam Abhyakritakas Usat Prakasaha Akas Uchay Ravivat Prakasate Sate Jashavis Samidam Prakasayan. I repeat one more time. Atreva Satvatmani Di Guhayam Abhyakritakas Usat Prakasaha Akas Uchay Ravivat Prakasate the translation is in this very body in the mind full of sattva in the sacred chamber of intellect in the kosha known as unmanifested the atman of the charming splendor shine like the sun aloft Manifesting its universe through its own effulgence. One more time, translation. Method is very deep. In this very body, in the mind full of sattva, in the sacred cave of the intellect, in the atmosphere of the unmanifest, the atman of the capacity Glory shine like the sun high in the sky, illumining his universe by its very effulgence. Now, see the effort of Sankaracharya. Very simple, very practical. He used the word Atraiva. Don't go far away, come closer. Already we are so far. We are so far from reality. Always, always we lost. Sankaracharya says, Atraiva, in this very body. Atraiva, in this very, very body. God has given to you this body, discover of God, not indulge in the world. This body is very meaningful. So just concentrate. Atraiva. Don't try to go heaven by going other places. Your body is enough. Your body has everything. Heaven is there. Vaikuntha is there. Because God is there. Very simple way, very simple method, but be created so complicated. We like complication. We want complication. We don't understand simple way. We need complication. Sankaracharya says, no, don't make it complicated. Just attraiva. Atraiva. Understand the word is Atraiva in this body. And he gave example. He said, like sun shining in the sky. Sun is shining in the sky. And because of sunlight, the entire universe is working. There are so many activities. There are so many things happening. There are some good, some bad, life, death, everything happening. But sun is not aware. Sun is shining in the sky. All universe, the entire universe is working according to their respective functions. Same. He gave example. So first, Akas Uchay Ravivat Prakasate Sate Jesavish Samidam Prakase. Like sun is shining in the sky and entire world is working in sunlight. 
सेम अत्रैव सत्वात्मनिधि गुहायाम अभ्याकृतम आकार कुसत प्रकाश इन योर बॉडी इन साइड देर इज ऑल्सो अ सन फुल ऑफ लाइट and where its its sun is so he giving explain satvatmani dhi guhayam in fact the consciousness is everywhere but this consciousness is not very useful to you it is not very useful you can we cannot realize that we want some device we want some support so without support we cannot understand that reality so understand this reality you should go through your body atraiva antrachari says just forget all ideas your body is enough and close your eye atraiva sattva in this very body there is inner instrument inner instrument you are the student of vedanta you know very well about inner instrument and if inner instrument is pure sattva atmani there is our intellect intellect buddhi and intellect is like a cave your intellect is like a cave and there is space in this space in this sky here is the sun of consciousness in this sky the sun is of consciousness hridayakas you can call it hridayakas the space which is in your heart your heart so god is in your heart you discover there it would be very easy be it would but we want not easy be we want complication you want something different because our ego is challenge giving us challenge i did so many things sankara chal so simple hridaya kas atraiva satvatmani dhi guhayam in your intellect and another meaning is you can understand that way also you can find god only by your intellect there is no other way gyanena ekena amritattvam anshu you can find only way in the knowledge understanding so you can discover the god you can discover the reality you can only the way is your intellect your pure intellect so god is hidden in your intellect you improve it you search there apply your intellect discrimination power dhi guhayam abhyakrita akash usat prakasha sankrachari says you will find that in your intellect there is space in that space there is a consciousness and consciousness shining like a sun he gives light everywhere he illuminates your mind your intellect your organs your body and entire world the all universe he illuminates and now last one 
ज्ञाता मनोहम कृति विक्रिया देहेन्द्रिय प्राण कृत क्रिया अयोग्निवत्त अनुवर्तमानो न चेष्टते नो विकरोति किंचिन आई रिपीट ज्ञाता मनोहम कृति विक्रिया देहेन्द्रिय प्राण कृत क्रिया अयोग्निवत्त ननुवर्तमानो न चेष्टते नो विकरोति किंच द ट्रांसलेशन इज The knower of the modifications of the mind and the egoism and the activity of the body and organs and pranas, apparently taking their forms like the fire in the ball of iron, it neither acts nor is subject to change in the least. I repeat another way translation: The knower of the modification of the mind and ego and activity of the body. the sense organs and pranas which apparently take their forms like the fire in a ball of iron it is the self which neither acts nor changes in the least so see the effort of sankaracharya it should be admired gyata manoham kriti vikriyanam because the word is satchidanand only three words he is explaining three words gyata manoham kriti vikriyanam noor he is who is the noor he says he is you think who you think gyata manoham kriti vikriyanam who is the noor your mind your ego and other modifications in our mind there are so many modifications so many thoughts every time and every thought you can forget you may be not aware but your consciousness is always aware your every thought sometimes thoughts are coming and going so fast we are we will not aware thoughts are so fast you are not aware they came and go come came and gone but your consciousness is always aware Every thought he understands. Gyata manu ang kriya nam. So, who is the knower of modifications of the mind and ego? Ego, because of I, I ness, I ness. I am this. I am that. I am that. I am that. So, because of this thought, there are so many thought processes. your inner consciousness is fully aware nothing there is nothing thought which is un unlimited un watched by the consciousness consciousness is fully aware your mind dehendriya pran krita kriya nam same bodily and our sense organs our mind our uh, life forces all activity he knows and become like a part like so he sankracharya gave example because method is very complicated very simple but we understand that is very complicated so he giving example in every every words he says like you have a iron rod iron ball and you put it in the fire slowly slowly it becomes like fire its color changed becomes red and so hot so fire is in the rod fire is in the iron so for iron 
becomes like a fire. So fire is everywhere in the iron. Iron may be wrought, it may be long, it may be short, it may be square, it may be triangle, thin, big, any, any shape there may be. But any shape of the iron does not affect the fire. Fire is always in the iron, but un un unattached. Unattached is form. Same consciousness is with your body, with your sense organs, with your mind, with your prana, always, everywhere. But Nabikarvati Kinchin. There is no any modifications. Nothing is happening. The consciousness is everywhere. With your mind, your intellect, your sense organs, your body, everywhere. But nothing is happening there, no changes. So Sankaracharya says, you think. What reality is working? What reality is doing everything? So you think that today we stop here. Thank you. Om Puranamadaha Puranamidam Puranat Puranamudachate Puranasya Puranamadaya Puranameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Shankaracharyam Eshavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhashya Kritau Vande Bhagavantau Puna Punaha Ishwaro Guru Ratmeti Murti Veda Bibhagine Vyoma Vada Vyapta Dehaya Dachina Murtai Namaha Om Shanti Shanti Shanti